Here's a topic in sound that's a little bit more complicated to understand. It's called sound interference. Since sound waves are indeed waves, and all waves have wave interference as waves come together, they're either in phase or out of phase, sound waves do exactly the same thing. So when sound waves come together from two different sources, let's say we have two sources putting out a sound wave at a frequency of 367 hertz, let's say they're two meters apart, and let's say there's an observer which is at the same height as one of the uh, loudspeakers here and two meters below the other loudspeaker when this person is standing right in that spot what does that person hear? Well, notice that the distance that this sound wave, ha wave has to travel is four meters. The distance that this sound wave has to travel, well that would be the hypotenuse of this triangle which is equal to 4.47 meters. So the extra distance that the one wave has to travel over the other wave is equal to uh, 4.47 meters for this distance minus 4 meters for this distance which is 0 0.47 meters. So that's what we call the extra path length that this sound wave has to travel. Now assume that these two speakers are what we call coherent. Coherent means that they not only have the same frequency, but that they're in phase as the sound leaves the two speakers. So they must be driven by a single source that keeps those two in sync so that those two speakers are coherent when the waves leave the speakers. But then, of course, since one wave has to travel a different distance than the other wave, they will no longer be in phase over here when they come together. So, now let's try to find out what the wavelength is of these waves, assuming that in this particular condition, maybe at some room temperature or so, the speed of sound is 345 meters per second. So know that the velocity is equal to the frequency times the wavelength, so the wavelength is equal to the velocity divided by the frequency, so that's 345 meters per second divided by a frequency of 367 hertz, uh, that would be hertz the same as 1 over seconds, so that means you'll end up with meters. So 345 divided by 367, and I get 0 0.94 meters. 0 0.94 meters. Now compare that number to the extra distance right here. Notice that this appears to be about half of that. Matter of fact, it's exactly half of that. So the extra distance here is equal to a wavelength times the ratio of this to a wavelength. So 0 0.47 meters divided by 0 0.94 meters. So this is how I find what fraction of a wave this extra distance is. Since the extra distance is 0.47 meters and the wavelength is 0.94 meters, this is equal to exactly a half a wavelength. Wow! So what happens when two waves come together and they're out of phase by a half a wavelength. That's kind of like this. So you have one wave that's coming in like this and you have another wave that's coming in like that. So these waves are exactly a half wavelength out of phase which means the result is that they will cancel each other out. There will be what we call destructive interference. This is known as destructive interference which means that the waves will cancel each other out and so the result is at that spot there'll be no sound at all. So you can put a speaker right there, or a microphone I should say, not a speaker, but you could put a microphone right there and the microphone would measure no sound, the sound would completely canceled out. And this person at that spot will hear absolutely nothing. So that person will have to go stand at a different location so that the two waves coming together are not out of phase by a half a wavelength and some sound will be heard. Now of course, what will happen if this person goes and stands at a place where the two wavelengths, the two waves are exactly in sync, then that person would hear double the intensity, and of course double the intensity would be 3 dB louder as if you were to listen to a sound of one of the speakers by themselves. So that's kind of interesting as well. So that's the basis of what we call wave interference or sound interference when two waves come from two separate sources that are coherent, same frequency, same phase as they leave the speakers, and then when they arrive at the place where the sound is being listened to, the pinipan, if the waves are in phase or out of phase, the person will hear a loud sound or hear nothing at all. In this case, it would be nothing. In the next several videos, I'm going to show you some more um, detailed examples so you can actually calculate 
at what locations you will hear constructive and destructive interference in sound where you would actually hear something and not hear something. So that would be for the next videos.